Alliance Tower, maybe six seven X-ray. Uh, we might have uh, lost our front tire pressure. Number seven Golf X-ray, Roger. Uh, are you declaring, or do you just need assistance? You're in there. I was like, you guys fly to the most centralized part of the United States, and then Dad's like, we're gonna get seafood. <laughs> Wait, yeah. you think we should? I don't know. Should we? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> 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 this is great. <clears throat> well, how you doing in there, Mom? I'm, you're not, I'm here. You're here? I got you. You know nothing. You just told that. Yes. Yes. But you're going to know. Why? What? Maybe you can put that in front in my... I already got your headset plugged in. Okay. Unless you want the... Do you want the old ones? No. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. So here's your taxiway. Up. And then nav. Up. Oh, there. far right is landing. Oh, gotcha. So go ahead, turn that one on if you want. Right here? Yep. Push it? Yep. Both? Go ahead, do both. <coughs> All right, you got everybody ready? Go to Texas? We're ready. Up and away. <laughs> I'm so glad I got that on video. <laughs> I'll be quiet. <laughs> I love the sound of this. This thing sounds really throaty. Oh, it sounds so good. IO550 sound like the best. Okay, we are departing Lawnmont, Colorado. We're headed south. Destination is Fort Worth, Texas. And um, yeah, it's cold here. It'll be nice down there. Uh, the final touch. Your checklist. Right here. On my traffic, based final runway one one, full stop. Comfy? Oh, I'm good, bud. Your mouth, put it right by your mouth. By my mouth. Okay, yeah, I gotta have it real close. I get that close. He probably doesn't want to talk to us anyway. Oh. <laughs> I'm just along for the ride. <laughs> Boy, that's, is that citation coming in? Look at that guy. He's just barely. He's just. Wow. Right. Look at that. Yeah, Nate. That's citation. A little bounce there, didn't little he? A little bounce. <laughs> huh? It's a little touch and go. A little touch and go. That's got to be nerve-wracking getting out in here. Huh? See anybody else? Oh, I think we're good, but I don't see no lights. Do you see anything on the screen or anything? No. <clears throat> no. How can you tell here? Uh, right here. Okay. This is 12 miles. The long line traffic. Skyhawk 75775 is on the approach for the RNAV 29, and we're at Melvin uh, for this circling 775 long line traffic. What was that, bud? Long line uh, traffic, citation 910 Tango Kilo is clear of the uh, of runway 11. Lama Moody, 6-7 Golf X-ray, taking off runway 1-1, departing the pattern to the east. Lama. All the way forward. This thing's got power. Mm -hmm. 
tower right there, is there? Right. Yeah, very good. And you can click on the map button. Map. Uh, engine far left. Far left. Yeah, push that. Yeah. It may not be, huh? or it could be a, uh, I don't know. Oh, look at that cute girl. Oh my gosh, you can't hear me. No. <laughs> the best part is Mother Goose is out like a rock. beat that storm system right out there and it actually is a pretty good size system and now we are south eastbound for Texas got a 25 knot headwind outside temperature is Celsius and engine vitals all looking fantastic. All right, we oh, are about uh, 40 minutes from our first rendezvous point, but we're doing actually pretty good right now. Uh, we have 21 knots, a little bit off the side headwind. Our true airspeed is 157 knots. We're doing 154 across the ground uh, at 11.1 .1 gallons per hour. EGTs look great. Cylinder head temps look awesome. Number five is a little warm. Not, it is a little warm, isn't it? Not warm comparative to that's the red line, but it's just it's one of the warmer running. Yep. We're uh, at right now at 11,500. And uh, we're VFR on top. Everybody's doing good back here. And uh, we're going to refuel in Texas at this point. We're not going to refuel in Dallas because Dallas is very expensive for gas. It shouldn't be expensive. There's a lot of ab gas refineries in Texas. But oh, should we go to Perryton? Uh, we're only 30 some minutes away. Uh, let's do I it. say we can even do? we can even find one closer and refuel, yep. Yep. and then from there we can go direct to. Uh, yep. Whatever you think, bud. We find an airport in there that looks good. Yep. Oh, so, gonna do this outside this controlled airspace right here. Yeah. Hobart Regional. Yeah, that could be good. It I think uh, one thing that's neat about this is our how fuel efficient. Oh, it's amazing. It's about an IO550, big six cylinder, 310 horsepower, and we're doing 11.1 yep. gallons per hour. Yep. Lions Tower, Mooney, 67 Golf M, X ray with information Lima, 13 miles to the north, southbound request full stop landing. Calling Lions Tower, say again, you call sign. Uh, six seven golf X ray. Number six seven golf X ray. I didn't. Number six seven golf X ray. I didn't observe inner right base for runway six right. Report a four mile right base. Four mile right base for runway one six right. Six seven golf X ray. Now we just gotta find it. Yep. Live tower, ball 2-1 is at 7 miles out on the island. Oh, sir, bud. Ball 2-1, yeah, live tower number 2, following Texan 2-3 mile final, right once you fly, good land. Live tower, Moody 6-7, golf x-ray, reporting a 4 mile base for runway 1-6 right. Moody 6-7, golf x-ray, runway 1-6 right, clear land, traffic, multiple Texan 2's on final for the parallel. 
One six right, clear to land. We'll look for that traffic. Six seven, golf X right. Check gear. Check gear. Twelve four one, cover taxiway, Fox right, taxi park with me, Alpha. Check gear. All right, we are locked. We're good, huh? Twelve four one, uh, left on Charlie, taxi to uh, park with me, Alpha. Twelve four one, left on Fox right, then Alpha. Stay with you. I don't like dropping the flaps or gear when I'm going fast. Oh, no. that's really hard on them. Yep. Were you within the safe zone? Yep. All right, gear down, props full forward, flaps are set to take off. We're good. There's. Speed. Tower ball four four six point eight nautical miles on the ILS runway one six left. Ball four four lines tower number two following Texan two two mile final runway one six left good land. Four four, clear to land, runway one six left, we're number two, gear down. Stall. Stall. Beautiful landing, Nate. Not to use your brakes at all if you can help it, huh? Yeah. Man, Nate, I can't believe how quick we came up on that. Uh, I think that tube let go. Huh? Shit. Stop, 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 stop. <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? Alliance Tower, Louis 67 X ray. Uh, we might have uh, lost our front tire pressure. 27 Golf X ray, Roger. Uh, are you declaring or do you just need assistance? Just need assistance. No damage or any of that, but we felt it uh, deflate coming in. Okay, and you want to hold position there? Do you need to be towed off? I will need to be towed off. It is, uh, it is definitely uh, flat, unfortunately. 67 Golf X ray. All right, 7 Golf X ray, Roger. Uh, stand by. I think we're okay, but no, we didn't hit anything. I don't know if it didn't damage it. No, it just it deflated. I could feel it. Seven Golf X-ray uh, response team is about ten minutes out. Uh, Lights Tower. Uh, six seven golf X-ray. I uh, hilariously brought a uh, a uh, air compressor, and for some odd reason, the tire is inflating. So I might be able to get off your runway here sooner than later. Okay. Yep. They're uh, they're on the way. If you, well, I can I can ask them to bring a air uh, compressor as well. Uh, that'd be great. It's working on our end. It's holding air. Um, I will give you a heads up if we uh, can taxi off your runway uh, here shortly. Right. Alliance two zero, how you? Alliance two zero, what? Yeah. Let me look. No, I just told them. All right, well, we just popped the tire in the front of the Mooney. For some reason, it went flat on us. And we were on Dallas-Fort Worth's runway 16 right. I would have replaced it. I'd have put a new one in. Okay, you call him? Yeah, I told him. Okay. He, he said their response team is like 15 out anyways. Okay, yeah. So I'd say I might be able to get off their runway faster than they than they hoped. Let's take it. Let's go in. Ready? Is that good? Yeah. That should that should hold. <laughs> well, I guess it's good you bring a plug-in uh, air compressor. <laughs> We're sitting on the runway right now. <laughs> You ready? Well, we'll try to start it. Hold this radio if you don't mind. Yeah. <clears throat> 
<laughs> no, that's the next. Yeah, it's up now. But I'll hang out. Hold on to the cap just in case we lose it. Can you unplug the yep, 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 yep. for me? How's it going? Any debris? <laughs> no, I didn't see anything. I was with that at like 50, which less than I feel. Yeah, it, we took the cap off. It's weird, it'll hold air, but as soon as we taxi it, it'll deflate. Go up? Oh, yeah. I might need. I'll have him. Get on 35. Ours are like cobblestone. <laughs> Watch oh, this knee. Oh, he does this. Okay, you're going to snip that off. Bring yep. that one up. Yep. We're going to snip this guy, right? Yep. You're going to snip that one too. I am. I'm going to snip it about right there. Yep. And bring it in. Yeah, I wish I could bring a hammer with it. We got air in the tire. Yep. Yep. It's holding air. Yep. Put this back in. Lock it up. We don't have to push. The plane via tug, Gee. or get stuck on runway one six right and one six left. You're kind of notorious for blocking runways, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, apparently. <laughs> Hilariously, I was having issues with this tube two weeks ago, filled it back up, everything was great, did a couple of flights, 
no big issue. We had left Denver on a en route to Fort Worth and everything was great at our mid stop for refuel. Came here, if you saw, as you saw in the video, came down on landing, touched down, everything's good. Rode the mains out, brought the front wheel down, everything was good. And then right at about 30 knots, all of a sudden you hear this and the front just got real heavy and started, rudder pedal feedback was just violent. And so I kept the, pulled the yoke back, didn't touch the brakes because I didn't want, the problem is the prop clearance on these is already low when there's air in the tire and it's even lower when there's no air in the tire. And so I didn't touch, didn't touch the brakes. I just let it slow down on its own and then killed the engine and um, <laughs> tower. We told tower, I was like, well, we have an air compressor in the back. Let's see if it'll air up. It aired up. So the tube wasn't fully dis destroyed. Um, and then we taxied across run one way, one six right to one six left. Of course, go figure right in the middle of runway. It deflates again. And we knew that this tube was just done. I had brought a spare hilariously enough um, because just in case I had a gut feeling I was like just bring a spare tube just in case and sure as heck that was the saving grace to this plane so we had a and come out he checked it out put the amount of the new tire on for us or not sorry new tube on the existing the tire was fine and um, we're ready to go so we're about to leave Fort Worth by the way Alliance Airport here if you ever get a chance to fly into Fort Worth There goes a T-38. <laughs> uh, that doesn't get any better than that. So, Alliance Fort Worth Airport is hands down one of the best. It's huge. Uh, it is no small airport and it is quite busy in the Dallas area, but the staff, the op airport operations, everybody behind the desk, and on the tarmac has been world class. They helped tow us that night. We had the issue with the tire and got us to a safe spot. We had an AAP come out. They were hospitable to everybody. It, it's just, they're world class. So if you ever get a chance to fly into Alliance, um, if you're wondering what their logo looks like. So now we are headed to Missouri. Branson West, Missouri. That's our next stop. But plane's doing good otherwise. We got a fresh $240 Michelin tube. So let's cross our fingers this one holds. <laughs> On to the next flight. the ground we are Missouri bound we're doing 14.2 everything is nice and cool everybody's out like a rock well one of them is <laughs> what did you think of uh, Alliance Airport like it be nice yeah, I think it's nice to meet them. It's nicer. Yeah, I think it's nicer. And uh, the, the staff and everybody there are the best people we ever met. They were yeah. so helpful with this, yeah. with our tire tube blowout situation. There were. The tire's fixed. It's holding air. <laughs> and uh, it was an eventful night. 
for how late we were getting in. The weather was perfect. Coming to Colorado was a little, little dicey, but uh, the, it was the rest of the flight was super smooth. Uh, there's we only issue that we really had is we were fighting uh, about a 32 knot headwind coming down here, so our ground speed wasn't great. We got in pretty late to Dallas, uh, Fort Worth, but. Um, you know, if you look at the airspace map at Fort Worth, it's a little nuts, but really it's not. It is right here. And here's the airport that we flew into. And you got all this Class Bravo <coughs> shelves that you gotta, you know, be mindful of. But it really isn't that bad, especially if you have kind of a game plan of your departure direction, what altitudes you're gonna go at. And he was super helpful uh, watching the altitudes and just for traffic in general. Uh, a lot of air aircraft activity, especially at that airport, Amazon Prime, a lot of T-38s, T-6s, uh, private jets, just a lot of good aircraft. And there's a gathering of Moody's that we've never seen before. There's a bunch of different Moody's. So now we're northeast bound, uh, and where our next stop is Branson, Missouri. Lake Texoma to our right. What is that? Lake Texoma. Uh, it's called Latex? Latex Oma. Lake. Lake K E. Oh, Lake. Texoma. Oh. Texoma. For Texas, Oklahoma. Wow. Very famous lake. Is it a nice lake? Yeah, it's beautiful. And surprisingly, for being a midday flight, it is uh, incredibly smooth. We're actually in Arkansas, but. For what? Fayetteville, right near Fayetteville, Arkansas. Oh, we're in Arkansas now. Yeah, yep, yep. Fayetteville, Arkansas. There's Fayetteville. The goose that just woke up from her nap. She struggle busting a little bit, but <laughs> she got too, uh, overly excited for the T-38s. <laughs> you feeling good? Yep. For uh, 23 minutes, we'll land. Hey, love, we're right over Fayetteville, Arkansas, right below us. Speedy Gordon is, hello. The whole family loaded up. Uh, favorite well, part about this is how much ground we're covering in this plane. It's a great family hauler. Autopilot is a wonderful thing, and I think we learn something new every day with our planes, which is great. He's learning, I'm learning, and... Uh, doing some great cross-country flights in the process, so. Hey, love. 22 minutes to landing. 179 knots. Oh, about 200. Yeah, yeah right about. miles an hour. Good. Have to hustle when we get there. Okay. Hustle. Up. Well, uh, uh, fingers crossed the t tire pressure stays inflated on this one. It will. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> I like your your positivity. Yep. <laughs> Switch over, yep. And then do a Unicom, right? 123, right? Branson West Municipal Airport, Emerson Field. Automated weather observation, one niner two four Zulu. Wind, missing. Visibility, more than one zero. Sky condition, missing. Temperature, two six Celsius. Do uh, one sec. One zero. Sky condition, missing. Temperature, 2, 6 Celsius. Dew point, 1 Celsius. Remarks, density altitude, missing. Lightning, missing. Wind information. So we're going to do a midfield right. and see where that wind sock is. Okay, which one's the active frequency for a uh, Far right. Valley traffic, RV, zero mic, Bravo, oh, two sorry. miles. Uh, West Municipal Airport, Emerson Field. Field. He joined the left down one for 2A. 
Fresno West, Moody 67 Golf X ray, 10 miles to the south northbound, coming in for a full stop land for runway 21. Fred. It, what one are you communicating on now? 123, right? I said uh, 2 uh, Yeah, we're on 123 now. Fred said West, Moody 67 Golf X ray, we do a midfield flyover, check for the winds uh, for runway 21. Fred said West. Love, see it down there. Yeah. You know how to come in, Nate, on your face. Right traffic for okay. runway two one. Okay. And no, no uh, direction for runway three. I'm gonna get a little bit lower to see the what the winds are. Automated. Three. I can. Yes. This special view com. Uh, currently, it looks like the winds are favoring runway two one. Ah, uh, appreciate the heads up on that. Two one it is. Moody six seven golf X ray. I see he was there, huh? Here come. One's at the airport? Yeah. Really? Yeah, somebody's at the airport. Okay, from traffic track, five three zero six three left face to one eight two. Branson West, twenty six seven golf X ray, right downwind to runway two one, Branson West. You, when you put run you got the gear down? Oh no, I won't drop it down yet. Okay. We're doing hundred and forty eight knots. Okay. I I gotta get her slowed down before I drop the gear. Yep, yep. Check gear. Check gear. Is that low? So what I'm waiting for is this white arc. Yep. To come That's up. when I'll get it slow enough. I can do the flaps. Uh, but I don't like to drop the flaps before that because yep. it's, it's hard on them. Yep. Do the flaps, love? Branson West, 267 Golf X-ray, right base for runway 21. Branson West. Andy gear coming down, love. Gear is locked down and lined up. Branson West, 267 Golf X-ray, final for runway 21, full stop. Branson West. I always kind of look for flags. Right. Area, just to see what the wind is possibly sure. doing. Yep, yep, let me look, bud. Favor the right then, Nate, right? If you're up on the way. Harrison Boone County, Skyhawk 228 is upwind of runway 1A, climbing through 2,000 feet. We'll be departing the area. to ride the brakes so I just yep, yep. slow down yep. put on your speed brakes uh, they are on oh all right we're at Branson West this is Brand Mother Goose's favorite place in the world <laughs> will be you're in there, I was like, you guys fly to the most centralized part of the United States, and then Dad's like, we're going to get seafood. <laughs> Wait, yeah. you think we should? 
I don't know, should we? Well, yes. it came out of the lake here. <laughs> <laughs>